Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell and then come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel. It is Saturday, March the 23rd. Our devotions are coming from the Bible Promise Book Devotional for Women. And it is week 12 of the year 2024, and our focus for this week is God's love. Today's devotional is entitled Return on Investment. And our scripture comes from the book of Hosea, chapter 14, verse 4, out of the New International Version. It reads, I will heal their waywardness and love them freely, for my anger has turned away from them. Okay, let's get into this. <clears throat> You've probably heard the term return on investment, ROI. Most people use the term when talking about financial investments. If applied to your spiritual life, two very different outcomes to investment strategies emerge. One strategy occurs when you invest love in the God who designed you and always gave you and gave you life. The return on your investment is forgiveness, eternal life, the guidance of his spirit, and his ability to work all things together for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. And of course, that's in Romans 8, 28, one of my favorite versions, or my favorite scriptures. A second strategy occurs when God invests love in you. His ROI, return on investment, is less assured. You could choose to follow, be transformed through obedience and become close to God, or you could ignore his love, turn from his rescue plan for your life, and act as if you never knew about his plans at all. God always invests love in others. Do you? He cares for all people. Do you play favorites? That's easy to do. He has a plan for each life. Can you help someone follow it? When you invest in love, it's returned. You make investments. Some investments don't seem like much, but God offers you incredible investment opportunities. Choose wisely. And you know, I really don't have much to add to that. Just that when we look at seed time harvest, the, the, that application or that principle, what you reap what you sow. So if you're sowing good things, you're going to reap good things back. And if you're so bad things, you'll reap bad things back. Seed time harvest is kind of a, a way things are in life here. You do bad, you're going to get bad back. You speak ill, you're going to get ill back. You, you know, the things you sow in life are what is going to re the harvest is going to be reaped by you later. And I got my words all tangled up in my mouth, but <clears throat> you guys know what I'm saying. And that's, I would be sowing and re, I would be sowing in love. I would be investing in love. That's another way. Sowing, investing, same thing. So there's a formula for it in the word of God. You reap what you sow. Okay. It's simple. Let's pray. God, we want to spread your love around. Help us to fully grasp the concept of sowing and reaping so that we can make choices to sow good things, to sow in love, Father. Help us to see those who need you and help us to reach out and make a difference, even if it's just a small difference. We thank you for it, Father. Help us to be a blessing today in Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. I am here in Williamsburg at the wonderful Virginia State Conference for the DAR. You gals want me to say hello? Oh. Here are my bunk mates, my sister, my dear friend, Hester. Oh my gosh, we're having so much fun. But um, it's just a good day and it's a good thing to learn because I mean, even not even in the spirit, but even in the natural, you reap what you sow. If you're a curmudgeon, you're probably gonna get negativity back, you know, but if you're reaping good things and smile, you know, they say smiles are contagious. It's the same thing, it's sowing, reaping, investing, reaping, <laughs> the return. It's all the same. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Bye until next time.